All right, guys. I'm just out riding, and we are well. Uh, okay, we are where we left off last video. Look at this. You really need knobbly tires. I need to read these signs just in case. Through track. Like, what the fuck is that even saying? This does look like a golf course, though, doesn't it? Definitely not. Definitely for bombs. I was editing my videos. And I was blurring out my number plate just because, I mean, everyone seems to be doing it, so maybe I should probably be doing it as well, is what I was thinking. So then, as I was blurring out my number plates, I, was, I asked my dad, I was like, do you know why we blur the number plates? And he had no idea, so I googled it. But, I mean, really, no one can do anything online with your number plate unless they're like a, uh, a policeman or something, or, um, I don't know what it is in America, but in the UK, like, if it's got a UK number plate, as long as uh, they're not a policeman or a, uh, or something. So basically, any normal person, your, your normal viewers, won't, uh, won't be able to do anything with your number plate. So I was like, oh, maybe I shouldn't bother. But then, if you're dicking, if you're being a dick, uh, tutting about on a bike on YouTube, like most people do in videos, or if they, or if they just catch you speeding or something, I don't know. I guess the police would uh, would be able to... Let's just try to go up this, because this looks like a good challenge. Oh, basically. But I mean, if you're being a twat on your... Uh, on your bike, like doing wheelies and shit, which I mean, let's face it, most people on YouTube are, um, or just, yeah, just speeding, and then the police, if they got your number plate or some uh, good Samaritan reported your videos to the police thinking that they were being helpful, then they could, if they got your number plate, if you hadn't blurred it out, then uh, they could easily, easily find you if they were the police. Hopefully this go road goes somewhere that I'm aware of, like somewhere that I recognise. With fuel, preferably. Wouldn't mind a bit of petrol right now. So I'm pretty sure that's why uh, people blur it on YouTube, just because they're more worried about the police than uh, than any like fan of their videos, just normal person that's going to watch it. Restricted byways. What does a like does restricted byway mean? I can't go on it, or that I've got to do something special if I'm on it. You've got to be naked if you're on a restricted byway. That does sound like the kind of uh, laws that they put in place. What the fuck? There's some like tourist destination buses. Oh, I think I'm on a runway. Not on a runway. I think I'm next to a runway. Those wind socks look like uh, things you get on a runway. Who knows? Well, someone knows. Not me though. It's got, yeah, no, that's got to be a, uh, that's got to be some kind of airport landing strip for probably military, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, no, I just saw a sign, military airfield. I actually knew what I was talking about when I saw a windsock. I feel like the mic microphone slowly creeping towards my nose in some kind of magnet, magnetorious, what's it called, a magnet field. Yeah, it was just out and out touching my nose. So what are these uh, signs for? Oh, I knew one of those, two of those places. That's what I do, I just go out, get lost, and then uh, try and find my way back. That looked like a, uh, a pub sign. When I had to go pick up this uh, bike, me, my brother was giving me a lift over there, and then I rode the bike back, and uh, church feet. That sounds very religious. Oh, what are we doing? Hello? All right, I don't think that quite warranted a complete stop, but... On the way there, we got a little bit, well, a little bit lost. I mean, it wasn't really lost. We just took the wrong exit off a roundabout and had to turn back. And uh, we ended up going in some pub called Sally's Pussy, which I first read as Salty Pussy, which uh, would have been even more interesting. But Sally's Pussy, like, who the fuck names a pub Sally's Pussy? Because normally pubs have, like, a limited number of, like, a limited, like... In England, all pubs are basically called either one of five things, which is like Crown Inn, Royal Oak, I don't know, pubby names. But we uh, we managed to find uh, an interesting one. Yeah, boy! Always shits me up. Cars overtaking cyclists, they're the fucking, uh, the devil. Da -da 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 -da. Where the fuck are we? Thank God the miles to gallon on this are great. This tank only holds, uh, like, 
nine lit eight liters, which is like two gallons for any Americans. But uh, you get like 200 out of a tank or so. I don't know. It depends how uh, how much of a dick you're dry you're riding like. But you can get a uh, you can get pretty pretty solid uh, moz to the gallon out of this. Oh, the 15 horsepower. Look at these country lanes. These aren't even country lanes. These are just uh, you know roads out in the middle of nowhere that for some reason a lot of people use it's probably going somewhere important i guess you always think that you always think no matter what time of day it is if you think you're going to be out in the middle of nowhere and the only person on the road like late at night in the middle of nowhere you you think well of course i'm only going to be the i'm going to be the only person like out at this time of day here and there's always someone there it, it, you know, I find it quite incredible. Oh, only one side of that guy's uh, brake likes are working. Tut tut, tutty tutty tutor. Shooting club. There's a lot of uh, pheasant shooting, not peasant shooting. That would uh, that would be illegal, I feel. Uh, pheasant shooting around here because of all the uh, like trees and forests and shit and uh it's a job of people i don't know where how many places do this it's called beating you go around with a stick and hit trees to make birds fly out of them important job i guess oh we were here earlier we've just done a big loop by earlier i mean about a video last video i think the ship in ship that's a uh, that's a common pub name oh fuck's sake i think we're gonna have to fill up with petrol at this uh expensive petrol place Bollocks. I'm losing 25p here. Easily. Alright, let's fill up this bad boy. They've only got one... Okay, they've got one unloaded pump and one diesel pump. I think this guy's going on uh, diesel. Oh, okay. No, this guy's been an absolute bellend. No, that's alright, mate. Look at this, this is like an old fashioned, uh, old fashioned pump with a uh, rotatey dingus, dingles. All right, that'll do me. Where the fuck did this pump come from? Anyway, that'll probably do it for this ride. Uh, thank you for coming with me for such an enjoyable journey. And uh, I'll see you next time. Ta-da. <laughs>